It's a cold November day to be in the Irish Sea. These people must be mad. They're not, they're angry. An Irish company, Providence Resources, wants to build an oil rig just off the shore of Dublin. Six kilometres is what we're told that where this building would take place. And the concern with six kilometres, if the tides were actually uh, blowing the wrong way, wind and tide the wrong way, within an hour the bay could be uh, covered in oil if there was a, a spill. And the bay is famous for its beauty. It's home to celebs like Bono and Van Morrison, and its residents want to protect it at all costs. Providence wants to drill in the bay by January. That's just a few weeks away. It says its wells could spark an oil revolution in Ireland of all places. Better known for pots of gold than its black gold, it's a country that's never found a working oil field. But maybe its time has come. The Irish government thinks 10 billion barrels of oil lie off the west coast alone. That's enough to replace imports for over a hundred years. But few seem convinced. And if the past is a guide to the future, protests can work. A gas field off the west coast, partly owned by Shell, has been delayed for nearly 20 years. But Providence has long been confident in their projects. Ireland is very pro-investment. Ireland's very much open for business. It's very much open for oil and gas business. Although little stands in the company's way, the louder and longer the locals shout, maybe their government will listen. Tom Gibson, Bloomberg.